your mind takes shape of the sense objects you are thinking about in vedantic terminology it is termed as vishaya karvritti an ordinary worldly person always thinks of the objects called vishaya of the world in a repetitive fashion almost 95% of the thinking pattern has no originality the same carcass of the previous days yet the mental rays invest big time in illumining the same old thought patterns every day while sitting in peaceful manner all of a sudden a thought about rasgulla comes in your mind and your mind assumes the shape of rasgulla causing salivation in your mouth your sense of taste starts yearning for the remembered taste of rasgulla and only after having rasgulla does it tend to stop basically a vishaya karvritti subsides after the sense organ have obtained the object of desire this is bit shallow level of understanding in fact when we consume rasgulla we are not really concerned with the quantity of it in fact we are not concerned with the physical aspect at all we are interested in the subtle portion of it the subtle tanmatra the feeling of taste is the subtle thing in the whole situation when this feeling of taste matches satisfactorily with our memorized taste of rasgulla the vishaya karvritti subsides <clears throat> physical objects do not really satisfy the mind mind alone satisfies the mind this upsurge and subsidence of vishaya karvritti goes on and on every day every moment external world is just a projection of the mind in truth mind goes on playing this game of waves from time immemorial not every vishaya karvritti gets fulfilled immediately in fact many are stacked down in priority to other vishaya karvrittis desire to have a slim trim body and better quality of life creates another vishaya karvritti that sacrifices the lower vishaya karvritti of having junk foods however lower vrittis don't get terminated they just slip to the subconscious mind and one fine day you let go of all inhibitions and devour lot of junkies almost forgetting any results you might have had during my childhood i used to relish the crispy samosas in mumbai but not every day i had the money to buy one so i used to just remember the feeling of satisfaction after having samosa whenever i didn't had money to buy it and this worked basically i understood back then that mind alone satisfies the mind physical objects are not necessary actor in it you might have enough money to buy samosa every day but you may not have enough resources to get everything you desire daily 
everyone hits the wall someday. And then the Vishayakar Vritti creates even stronger desire and attachment for the object. <laughs>